the night that we're gonna fall in love I don't care about you and him I don't care about what has been I only care about your soft skin Cause we're still sleeping in my head Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another day in the life vlog for you guys. I know a lot of you guys like these videos, so I decided to take you along today because I'm supposed to go get my genetic screening done for my pregnancy. That's why I'm actually ready for the day, but I'm supposed to go to a different lab than I'm used to going, which is fine. They said I could go anywhere between 16 and 22 weeks, and I turned 16 weeks yesterday, so we decided to go today. One, because Gage has a half a day, and two, because I just want to get it over with and be able to get my results as soon as possible so we're gonna go ahead and get that done today I actually got some unexpected not so good news last night involving my pregnancy um, apparently the hospital that I'm supposed to deliver at and the hospital that my doctors connected with is closing their labor and delivery area so that's a little bit stressful. I delivered Sophia in that hospital and I've just been going to that hospital since I was growing up and yeah so I don't know what we're gonna do. Our other nearby hospitals are 45 minutes and an hour away which is a little bit farther than I'd like to be delivering but I guess I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna talk to my doctor in about two weeks whenever I see him and ask him which hospital he's going to be connected with from now on because I definitely want him to be delivering my baby and I hope he's not like transferring somewhere that's definitely way too far out of reach so I'm going to speak to him and see how everything's going to be going. Um, also Sophia's going to be having to stay here with my family while I'm giving birth so the fact that she's going to be 45 minutes or over an hour away while I'm giving birth stresses me out a little bit too just because our hospital was only 15 minutes away and I did want her close and I just like the fact that it was close to our home in case we needed anything so yeah um we got that news last night that really sucks and I am a little bit stressed out but I know everything's gonna work out in the end and everything's gonna be okay Sophia is screaming at me because <laughs> she wants another strawberry so um she's snacking on strawberries this girl is the snack queen here, baby. This girl is the absolute biggest snack queen. She asks for snacks all day long. I know a lot of people say their kids do that, but I'm telling you, this girl is on another level. And we're constantly having to tell her no more snacks. So if you follow me on Instagram, you would know a few days ago I was trying out these Impress Nails from Kiss. And obviously I don't have them on now because I just wasn't in love with them. I've heard a lot of good things about them, but they were like pretty secure. They just started like lifting at the corners of my nails really quickly. Like within honestly an hour of me putting them on, they started lifting and they just didn't feel that great while I was doing like dishes and laundry and just household things. And I don't know, they just weren't practical for me, I guess. So I did end up popping them off and they were super easy to come off. But my nails have been growing like crazy with taking my prenatals, so I wanted something on them just so I could keep myself from biting them because I am a nail biter and they're just like super strong and long right now and I want to keep them that way. So I put this LA Girl Calcium Nail Builder on them for now. I do want to get my nails done, but acrylics are just too expensive and too much upkeep for me right now. I would like to get a manicure, but again, it's just like so expensive. And you have to keep up with it if you want them to look good. And I just can't do that. So I put this on them for now. Hopefully I can get a manicure like next weekend maybe or something whenever Gage gets paid. But um, yeah, I wasn't very impressed with these like a lot of people are. And if you're wondering why I just don't polish them myself is because honestly, I tried polishing them myself. And every time I do it, I just hate the way that they look. They just don't look professional and I'm just not good at it and I end up taking it off within a day or two just because I'm just not satisfied with the way they look when I do them myself. So I really do want a manicure. I think I'm gonna go this weekend and get one and just splurge on myself a little bit because I haven't done it in so long. I used to get acrylics all the time before Sophia was born and like when she was a newborn, but it just became too expensive and just too much upkeep. So I took them off. And it saddens me because I love having my nails done, but I do really need a manicure. I really need to splurge on myself a little bit. 
I don't ever do it, so I need to do it. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm so excited and I'm so glad that I'm vlogging today so that I can document this, but I just felt the baby's little flutters for the first time, so I felt the baby moving. I was laying on the floor with Sophia and reading her some books, and I started to feel the little flutters in my belly, so that's super exciting. I was just thinking today that I started to feel the flutters with Sophia when I was between like 16 and 17 weeks, and I'm 16 weeks and one day today, so that's just really exciting that I'm starting to feel movement, and it just makes it feel like so much more real because I just haven't been feeling super pregnant or anything lately just because I'm in that in-between stage where like I'm not round or anything so to feel movement is exciting and also super reassuring just letting me know like baby's in there and okay and like moving around so that's exciting but I'm about to well I just did make Sophia some lunch it's over here Cooling. I just made her some mac and cheese because it's 12 o'clock right now and Gage will be home probably around 12.30 or 1. So I want to have both of us fed before we go out and I also want to make sure that I eat before I go get my blood work done and I don't get lightheaded or anything. So I'm going to give her some lunch and then I'm going to make myself something to eat real quick. I'm not sure what I'm going to eat. And then we'll probably head out to get my blood work done. As soon as Gage gets home, we're going to drop Sophia off at my mom's just so that we don't have to take her with us and it's not a huge hassle for us and we can just get in and get out really quickly hopefully but yeah I'm just super excited and I'm glad that I'm vlogging so that I can document this because I didn't get to document any of this with Sophia I remember things but it's still like everything's not like captured on camera or like written down so that I know exact times so it's really exciting to have this on camera and like this whole pregnancy documented I'm like super excited about that get in the car You're gonna go see Uncle River, come on. Let's get in the car, baby. We're going bye-bye. You're gonna go see Akamo. And Mama's gonna go to the doctor, okay? Well guys, that was an absolute waste. We just got to the place we're pulling out now because apparently it's closed on Tuesdays, but like I said, we were unfamiliar with this like lab that they're sending us to, so I figured it was open on Tuesdays, like most labs, so I guess we're going to have to come back sometime this week. So you guys, that was a total fail, but we're home now. We just came to pick up Sophia for my mom, so she's playing outside, so we're letting her play a little while. But I guess I should have checked online to see if they were open today. I just, I don't know. I just figured they were open, but I guess we're going to have to go sometime this week. Gage has half a day all day, all week this week, so we could pretty much go any day this week after he gets home from work but I just really wanted to get it over with today um, but it's not a big deal. Sophie is over here playing and having a good time. I think she's glad that we're not gone that long. We were literally gone for like 15 minutes. <laughs> Come back baby! Squirrels! Where are you? Buggies? Bug. Come on, let's go back to daddy. Come on. Steps, steps. Are we running? Okay, run, run, run. So guys, we just got home and I forgot that I got this box in the mail um, a few weeks ago actually and I wanted to show you guys. So I'm actually registered at Babylist. Um, you can get a free box when you register. So I decided to register there just so my family can have an idea of like what I need if they wanted to buy me anything and just so I can keep myself organized of what I need for baby but when I registered I got this free box and it came with like a bunch of samples so I wanted to show you guys um it comes with this book basically they're like little catalog and then it comes with these cards which I'm actually really happy about because they say where we're registered and you can put them in like our invitations they actually did not come in this bag i put them in there just so i didn't lose them but whenever i send out invitations if i have a baby shower these would be awesome and then there's little i think these are breast milk bags i can't really tell and then a little like binky from the brand nano baby um it comes with breastfeeding samples so little nursing pads I think these are actually the nursing pads that I used with Sophia and I really like them 
And then breast milk storage bags. You get one of these little Pampers um, bags that you could stick in your diaper bag. I had one of these with Sophia and you can stick like little essentials you need for a diaper bag in there. A little bib. I think this bib is actually like waterproof. So like things kind of like feed off of it. I'm not really sure, but that's really cool. Um, and it comes with like a bunch of like little samples and coupons, a little passy pouch to keep in your diaper bag, um, little hair and body wash sample, um, a lotion sample, latch on tips, and then more little samples. What is this? Oh, a dollar fifty off. Um, even flow, something from even flow. I'm not sure what this is. Oh, more breast milk storage bags. And yeah, like I said, a bunch of like little coupons and just ads showing you different brands that you can get stuff from. So um, like little promo co codes you can use. So yeah. Oh, and then some water wipes. So I just thought that was really cool. This entire box was free. I think I had to pay like a few dollars for shipping but the whole box itself was free and you get a bunch of like really cool stuff in there so I wanted to share that with you guys if you want to register at baby list the cool thing about them and I think I use this with Sophia too is that you can register with like every single store so you can put things in your registry from any store that you want and it doesn't have to be a single store like Target or Amazon or anything and it has like you can put any brand of anything in there so that's what I really like about it so I'm not limited to one store for everything but they um, have a really cool app that I use and I've just been adding stuff in there that I'm gonna need for baby I'm trying to keep it really minimal for this baby just because we do have stuff from Sophia that um, we can pass down so I've just been putting stuff in there for me just so I know what I need and I can keep traffic of everything and then also for like my parents and like grandparents and stuff in case they want to see if I need anything and want to get the baby anything but I just wanted to show you guys that I thought it was really cool so I am currently taking our couch covers off and switching them to these ones they're not that much different of a color but these ones are just a little bit darker and they'll definitely be better with stains we actually got these when we got the couch because this is the original color that I wanted but for some reason getting the couch with this color was cheaper so we just got the couch and then bought the covers separately so that way we had two anyways but I'm gonna switch these ones on finally I just like that they're a lot darker this couch obviously <laughs> stains a lot um, easier than this one so that's why I'm switching them but I finally got some motivation to do it so I'm gonna do it right now Every time that my mind slip, I just see my past life Having dreams in a dream, I wonder Why I carried on with the things that made you lose your mind There's no way I can undo what I've done Can we be strangers against our fresh like a morning What's so bad about that? So why won't you follow? Why won't you follow me home? I know I can't make you mind. Yes, I ran out of time. Really like the way that it looks. It was actually a lot easier to put on than I thought because in the beginning when you first get the couch, the pillows are like super fluffed out and not in the correct shape. So it's really hard to like get them in the cushions, but this was really easy to do even though I feel like I just got a workout and I'm a little bit out of breath right now, but that's just a part of pregnancy. <laughs> um, so anyways, I like the couch. I'm going to wash these cushions um, over here, or these covers, and put them away. And I'm also going to vacuum the living room real quick just while I have the vacuum out because I wanted to vacuum those ones before I put them away too, which I already did. So yeah, that's the couch. It also matches like the color in our rug it's a little bit darker than that one but still not too dark and it also brings some new color in here because our couch cushions and our walls like and our curtains are all the same color I'm getting new curtains by the way but yeah I just like that it's a little bit darker than those ones just for like stain purposes and like with kids but it also brings color into the room too so I'm gonna put those ones away and vacuum and Gage is cooking up dinner right now don't mind our full garbage but He's outside grilling and Sophia's snacking on some green beans right now. So we're gonna eat 
in a couple minutes, but I want to get this wrapped up real quick so that I don't have to worry about it after we eat. We just got home from Walmart. Of course, I didn't bring my camera, but we went to pick up some stuff for my mom and my grandma's Mother's Day baskets that I'm making. I'm going to be doing a whole video about that, so that should be coming soon in the near future, so stay tuned for that. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that. But I picked up some stuff for their Mother's Day basket, and we just literally walked through the door. Gage is getting Sophia in the bathtub, and I'm about to have myself a little bit of dessert. We ate dinner before we left, and I'm going to have one of these. I've been loving these. They've been another craving, I guess you can say. They're the Skinny Cow Salted Caramel Pretzel Bars, and they are so good. I've been trying to, like, savor them and not have one every single night because they're not the healthiest, obviously. But I have three left, and I'm going to have one tonight. I haven't had one in, like, two nights. Or maybe I had one last night. I don't know. But I'm definitely going to have one right now because they're just so good. And then I'm going to go ahead and take a shower myself and get ready for bed. It's only 8 o'clock, but I want to get Sophia laying down, and I just want to wind down. I have these dishes to do from dinner that I never got to do, so... Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's Day in the Life vlog. If you did, make sure to hit that subscribe button down there and also give me a big thumbs up so that I know that you enjoyed the video. And I guess I will see you next time. So, bye guys.